Hello viewers, SuperGT here. Welcome to a very special video. I'm going to be unveiling my sim rig at long last. Yes, I know. It's, it's taken a very long time, very many weeks in the making. You're probably sick and tired of, of me talking about it. But finally, well, enough talking. Let's go and have a look at it. Okay, so here it is. Here is the whole thing in its beauty. Now, everything is linked in the description, so if you want to have a look at all the individual parts, then just have a look down there, and you can see how much it all costs, etc. or buy it for yourself. Okay, so I think the main thing is the rig itself. Let's take a look at that. So, you can see this metal framework here. This is the SimLab P1. So really, really strong, sturdy framework aluminium 80 by 20 profile so it's strong it's rigid it's sturdy and it's adjustable so of course with these grooves that you have here everything can be slid up or down left or right uh, you can angle it up and down you can change the angles you can change how far everything is it's very adjustable it's really really good like that so it's the main reason i went for this really is how strong it is how adjustable it is but also um it's good for the future, you know, because if I want to get myself a DD wheel, then something as strong as this will more than be capable of uh, with with dealing with that. This is on the wheel deck, uh, so you've got two versions here. You can have uh, the front mount, which is for like direct drive wheels, and you've got the wheel deck here, where we've mounted the CSL Elite. So I've gone for all Fanatec gear. So Fanatec were actually very kind to send me a lot of this gear, so I didn't have to actually pay for everything, luckily. Um, it is expensive, this stuff. But um, Fanatec were very kind enough to send this, so do look out for some reviews coming on the channel very soon. So you've got the CSL Elite base here, and this is of course attached to this beautiful looking thing here. This thing is it's basically porn. I think this channel is about to get demonetized because this is Peggy 18. So look at that thing, the, the Fanatec Club Sport F1 2018 wheel. So it's actually limited edition, so you can't actually buy this thing anymore. There's, there was 500, I believe. It was a limited run. So, um, well, if you don't have one, then you can't get one, basically. You can get very similar wheels, though. So we've got the Fanatec CSL Elite. We've got the uh, Club Sport rim here. We've got a couple of other rims, very quickly, over here. So we've got the McLaren GT3 rim, as you can see here and the Fanatec, of course, the Fanatec uh, Cobs, the CSL Elite rim. Now the, the good thing about this rim here, the GT3 rim, you see it's got the Xbox buttons on it. So if I plug that in, even though it's a PS4 wheelbase, it will make it compatible for Xbox games. So this wheel, this wheelbase, is a PS4 version, so this is for PS4 and PC but uh, if I plug in that Xbox wheel, then it will work on Xbox, so that's very, very good indeed. So over this other side, you see here we've got a keyboard tray, so for, for iRacing, etc., or for any PC game. I mean, I can sit here, I can literally just sit here and just use my PC on this, and you know, I've got, uh, I've got the keyboard and the mouse tray over here, so I could, I could just work on this thing. So we've got the, the keyboard tray over here, very, very nice indeed. So it's actually adjustable as well, so you slide it up and down, tilt it. And on the other side here, we have the mouse mat. So again, very adjustable. You can just undo these and move it up or down, take it off completely, do whatever you like. So on here, I'll probably be putting the mouse um, and my Elgato Stream Deck, I think, for when I'm streaming. So you've got that over this side, the keyboard tray over there, which is no longer a keyboard tray, it's just an empty tray. And down here, we have the Fanatec CSL Elite pedals. Well, pedals plus the load cell, the, the, uh, the CSL Elite load cell. So the CSL pedals just come with two pedals, so accelerator and brake. Then I bought the load cell as well, which is in the middle, and then put it in between. 
So the, the low cell there, a little bit stronger, the, the spring at the back. So it gives you uh, much stronger uh, uh, cap uh, capabilities of braking. So that's one of the most important things I think on, on the whole rig is the brake pedal. Because I think that's where you really do need a lot of sensitivity. So I went with the stronger pedal there. Once again, thank you to Fanatec for sending that over. So uh, let's have a look at the, the, the monitor. So this is a 40 inch screen by Panasonic. And the reason why I went 40 inch is, well one, because I'm not going triple monitors. If it was triple, I would have gone a lot smaller. But because it's just a single monitor, I think 40 inches is big enough. You can see sort of the, the size comparison here if we look from behind. And after playing for an hour or two today, I think that's a really good size. You, you, you really do get immersed quite nicely into that. I think anything below 30 would have been way too small. Maybe a 32, I think, was too small as well. So we went with 40, and I'm pretty pleased with that, to be honest. I think the size is very good. That's the screen, the, the Panasonic. I don't even know what model. Panasonic something. And that is attached with this, the integrated monitor mount by Simlab. So the keyboard tray, the mouse mat, and the the rig, all by Simlab, and it's attached with this. So this nice framework, which attaches to the rig itself. And then if we just go around the back here, you can see just how much it attaches, or you can see how it attaches. And then it goes along the back of the TV, holds it all together with the visa plate you can see there at the back. So everything very, very strong, very sturdy, and again, all adjustable. So I can move the screen further back, further forward, further up, further down. So really, really adjustable, really, really happy with it. But the position there is just about fine. So normally I'd see probably about that kind of angle. So as I turn the wheel, it does block a little bit at the bottom of the screen. But that's kind of to be expected because you're gonna have that in the, it, you, you kind of want to block the bottom of the screen anyway, because that's where the wheel is on the screen. So let's next, just kind of correct that. Let's have a look at the seat, which is obviously an important part of the whole thing. So I've gone for the Sparco Rev. Now this thing is really, really comfortable. So it's made of this really nice soft material. And after playing for an hour or two today, this thing, I did not notice any discomfort. Very, very comfortable indeed. Very, very tight fitting and it's fully adjustable. So again, with the SimLab, with these uh, grooves, you can move it all f uh, forward or backwards. But also, I have this, the, um, the seat slider. So I can just pull that, I can move the whole seat backwards, I can move it forwards. So that's really, really good, really adjustable. Um, obviously, if I, I know my own height, so I can keep it the same, but if anyone wants to come over and have a go, move it forwards, move it backwards. So that is the rig. Uh, do ask any questions if you want to know any more. Just over here, we can have a look at the, the setup. I'm not really going to take too much of a look over here. We still ask some questions. So this is the Rode, um, the Rode NT USB mic down there somewhere. There it is. There it is. NT USB. And it's on the the boom arm. So really, really good. So that of course can go over there when I'm when I'm on the the rig, and then when I'm when I want, when I want to record over here it that way so fully adjustable in a good position there and the monitors as well because I'm for streaming I need two monitors flip that round and you can see the setup there so I better stream off that one and then look at comments and stuff there yes that is in the way a little bit but it's not too bad and uh, yeah just about works out so adjustability I think is one of the main things here the fact that I can move everything out um, into multiple positions and um, multiple configurations to make it easy to stream, etc. So that pretty much rounds out the video. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, if you have any questions, then do just fire away in the comments and I'll do my best to answer you. So, you know, what are the reasons for, for buying the rig? I think with the controller on Gran Turismo, I think it's maybe time to call it a day there and uh, try something a little bit new. Keep the channel fresh, something, you know, there's a new challenge. There's, there's something else to aim for. So hopefully this rig will propel me 
to something better than sixth place. You never know, maybe fifth. Fifth will be the new meme, it, although I can say that properly. Gran Turismo Sport will have a new element to it. Um, I don't really plan to play it with Forza. I think Forza, I think, is, is a controller-based game, really, and you don't really need a wheel. But of course, we can we can move on to using uh, or playing proper sims now. I racing, uh, Seto Corsa competition, R Factor Two. These types these types of games now are going to be really, really a lot better to play with with a standalone rig. Um, so I'm really looking forward to you know new adventures on on sim games. So if you have any, have any suggestions or wish lists of what you want to see me play, then do just fire away. I know a lot of you do want to see the the simulator stuff. I did touch on iRacing a long time ago, but hopefully that is going to return now. But that is the end of the video. Again, have any questions, fire away. And if you want to check out what I have just bought, it's all linked in the description below. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts. I shall see you next time. Goodbye. Listen.